Today we're going to talk about patterns. Does your child like music, colors, or shapes? Most children do, and it shows that they have an early inclination and a curiosity toward early math skills. Mathematical concepts start with pattern recognition. Think about your child's first toys. They're colorful, they're made of shapes, you stack them, you sort them. All of these things set the foundation for early pattern concepts. Today we're going to explore patterns by using colors, shapes, and even stacks. Okay guys, we have something really cool to do for you guys today. We are going to do patterns. Silas, do you know what a pattern is? What do you see? What color is first? What do you see first? Yellow. Yellow, yellow and then what color? Orange. Orange. Yellow. It repeats yellow. itself. Yellow. That's right. Patterns repeat themselves. So you can make your own pattern. It can be like this. How many colors do you see there? Purple, pink, orange. Great. Right. That's right. Good job, Silas. Pink. All right. You guys ready to have fun? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's make our pattern. So take your pipe cleaner. I like it. Ooh, Rachel, you have a rainbow going on over here, it like looks that. like. What pattern are you doing? Red and orange. All right. So red, orange, red, orange. Patterns help children answer the question, what comes next? It's super helpful in social situations, especially when a child's in a classroom. They have to know, what do I need to do when I have a question? They need to raise their hand and wait for the teacher to answer them. Knowing what's expected and the patterns of things help them navigate the world that they live in. Okay guys, we're gonna play a game. I am going to reach into this bowl and I'm going to make a pattern and you are going to guess what's next. So Silas, tell me what shape that is. A rectangle. You're right, it's a rectangle. So I'm gonna put a purple rectangle down. Then I'm gonna put a, what circle. Color? a circle, a blue circle down. And let's see, hmm, if I'm doing a pattern and a pattern repeats itself, what comes next? What comes next after the purple rectangle? Blue. Find it for me. Put it in place. So cool. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm excited too because I can't wait to see what this looks like. Okay, Silas, we're going to do something really fun. We're going to do window patterns. I'm going to start the pattern and I'm going to put one on here and I need you to spray it so it sticks. Can you spray that? Give it one good spray. Here, go further back. Stand further back. Spray it good. There you go. Good. <gasps> Look. <gasps> it's sticking. All right, let's create a pattern. So let's see. Let's do this one next. Spray that for me. Oh, it's already kind of sticking. Good. All right. Let's see. What should we do? This one next? Okay. Okay, now I'm going to let you tell me what comes next. If we're going to do the pattern and it repeats itself, what would come next? What do you see first in that row? Purple. Mm -hmm. So why don't you find the shape? <laughs> Good job. There you go. All right, what comes next? Green. Okay, <gasps> your favorite. All right. Good job, buddy. You wanna do new pattern? Since we ran out of room, you start your own pattern. What do you wanna start with? You can try it, you wanna do it? Ooh, we haven't done a yellow circle yet. Good, I think that's enough water. I think it only needs one squirt of water, okay? On each shape. I think it'll stay, just one. So you did good, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Go. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> 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 Patterns are arrangements of things that repeat in a logical way. Those arrangements of colors, shapes, sounds, images are very important for young kids and contribute heavily to their early math understanding. In the way that we speak, think about the way that sounds and words are made up. All of those are very important skills in a child's early development. Okay guys, now that you know how to make patterns, we're gonna do something yummy. We are gonna make snack patterns. You can make your own snacks and make a pattern with them. Yummy. Using any of these foods here that you see. All right, go. Watermelon, oh. stra what? strawberry, cucumber. Oh, that looks yummy. And then I did orange cucumber. 
cucumber. Oh, yum. They look great, guys. I want more strawberries. Do you want to reach them? Mom, it's a squirrel. I have to snack on one. <laughs> Can I go ahead and show oh, yeah. eating? Watermelon in there, too. Watermelon's so good. It's delicious. Mm. Patterns are not just linear, they're non-linear as well. You can see patterns in nature when you look at a leaf or a flower or a tree. So it was very exciting for my children today to learn that a mandala as it radiates out from the center is also part of pattern making. Okay guys, so now that you know what a pattern is, we are going to take these plates and instead of making a pattern in a line, we are gonna make a pattern that starts from a center point. See how my pattern starts in the center? Mm -hmm. And then it goes out like this, but you can see can you hold it that the pattern, see? Mm -hmm. see these beautiful colors? They start from a center point and it goes outward. So you can make a pattern as it's going outward. All right, you guys ready? It's a diamond. Nice. You're right, it is. Look at mine. It looks good and will taste good. Woohoo! Nice mandala, Rachel. You want to eat yours? Don't eat yeah. yet. They need to see my. Here, wait for Rachel. Can you take a picture of it? You want a picture of it? Today was a lot of fun getting to do patterns with my kids. I think they enjoyed it too, actually getting to do some hands-on pattern work and not just seeing it, but actually getting to do it for themselves. For Silas, getting to build those fine motor skills is really important as he gets to pick up the cereal and put that on the little pipe cleaner. For Rachel and Benjamin, it was neat that they got to see that patterns aren't just linear, that it's something that can radiate out as they built those mandalas. And what kid doesn't like snacks? If your kid's like mine, they're asking for snacks every 30 seconds of the day. So getting to build those snack trays, make them all colorful, and then getting the beautiful reward of eating them at the end was absolutely delicious.